Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Major Francois Regis Gasareika, who's Permanent Secretary for the Ministry of Information, uh, Technology and Communications uh, for the Republic of Rwanda. Permanent Secretary, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you, Max. Happy to be here once again. Now, I would like to talk to you about uh, what's really on everybody's lips here at the moment, which is uh, smart digital transformation. And I wanted to find out from you, what does smart digital transformation mean to Rwanda? Well, thank you. Uh, very simple. Smart uh, digital transformation for Rwanda is a journey uh, that we have started a few years ago uh, with the, what we call the implementation of the national information and communication infrastructure simply because uh, the government of Rwanda realized that for us to reach uh, our goal of becoming a knowledge-based economy by 2020, uh, we needed to focus on developing technologies and making them available to all the citizens so that it can, be, it can have an impact, so that technologies can have an impact, a transformative impact in the way we live, work, and the way we organize our communities. And we realized that uh, for a knowledge-based economy to have a full meaning is to have a digital economy, what we call a digital economy, where data is the most valuable asset uh, for development of across uh, all sectors of the, the economy of the country. And in terms of opportunities, what are the main smart opportunities and challenges in the next five years, let's say? Lots of opportunities. Uh, like we've been uh, seeing in different uh, interactions here at uh, ITU Telecom World 2017, uh, opportunities that come with the use of data and extensive, extensive use of ICTs, uh, basically related to, to things like Internet of Things, uh, big data and analytics, so that we can make sense out of the data that is collected from the connected communities and uh, instrumented communities so that we can make informed decisions that are going to lead to the economic development. And can you tell us a little bit about the Smart Digital Citizen Initiative, I believe it's called? Yes, we, we have a Smart Digital Citizen. Uh, in Rwanda, we have started making all the government services available online, uh, simply because we realize that uh, uh, when we make uh, government services online, when you make them available to the citizen, it cuts the cost for transport. People don't have to make long queues at government offices trying to look for or request for services. They can do everything on a self-service basis, 24 by 7, and we need to have a paperless economy and also a cashless or cash-like economy. So we have a number of uh, services that are already online. Uh, and we have already started seeing uh, how it helps the normal citizen. So it's working well? The, the it's working very well, yes. The, the, the facts and figures uh, seem to indicate that uh, it's going to make a big big difference. In absolutely, absolutely. And what have you seen here at ITU Telecom World uh, that has excited you the most so far? Well, the ITU Telecom World amazes me. Every year we come here, it's a new, uh, a new, there's a new flavor, there's a new theme. And what I've seen is that all the themes over the last three, four years have actually been converged towards the focus on small and medium enterprises. Uh, but what I like the most here is that the small and medium enterprises that are, that are already showcasing their products here are all geared towards smart cities and the solutions that are really going to have an impact on the socio-economic social development of different countries. There are different ways of implementing smart, smart cities and smart communities, but the small enterprises that we are seeing here at ITU Telecom World 2017 are actually showing that it's possible to have homegrown solutions that are digitally, uh, uh, digitally enabled uh, to make that happen. Uh, and in fact, uh, we have brought our own from Rwanda. We have about five innovators who are showca showcasing their products in this area, and we actually hope that they will scoop some of the hours like we used to do in the past. And, uh, but we are learning. We are learning a lot, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Thank you very much. And finally, I wanted to ask you, I mean, you've attended a number of these events. So what, what's the value of attending events such as this? And what's your key message to participants here at ITU Telecom World? 
Uh, attending an event such as uh, the IT's Telecom World is, is very important because uh, it provides a platform for us to share ideas, to learn, to even share some solutions to some of the challenges that the uh, fast movers have had to deal with so that we can leapfrog or implement in a most in better way or most uh, cost effective way. And the key message I, I, I want to give to, to everyone is that uh, digital uh, economy is a reality. Uh, we can no longer talk about uh, poverty alleviation. We, are, we have to, to be talking about sustainable development uh, through transformational smart solutions. And this is the way to go. Uh, we have to learn from each other and we have to implement fast. Well, thanks again for joining us in the studio. Thanks and we look forward to catching up with you again very soon, I hope. Thanks for having me and thanks for the opportunity to share our ideas uh, at this ITU Telecom World 2017. It's great to see you again. Thank you. Thanks, Max.